and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Jarvan with a little bit of Darius for our first deck of the day. We're going to be doing some more meme tier decks today. I know we had meme tier uh, Monday yesterday. We have, a, we have four more viewer submitted donation decks uh, to get to for meme tier day. So we're going to be doing meme tier Tuesday today as well. Hopefully y'all enjoy the meme tier decks. So this one's going to be a deck with Draven and uh, Jarvan, like I was saying, with a little bit of Darius. Um, it's it's a deck that like whenever the viewer submitted it says there's a lot of cards that look kind of weird and the deck looks kind of weird, but it does well and uh, perform you know performs pretty well and everything. So let's let's give it a try. Let's see how it does as is. We have a card like Survival Skills. It's going to be awesome with Draven. Uh, we're playing a card like Battering Ram, which is a card I don't play very often, but Battering Ram could be pretty cool with things like Cataclysm. They can start the free attack to give it that plus four plus zero. Like that's pretty neat. So we'll, we'll be able to see how that does. Um, let's see. What else we got in here? Uh, we got... Uh, uh, I don't know. We just kind of have like some just kind of some good cards, right? Like we're going to have like some good attackers. Um, we'll be like reforging lots and lots of different spells that are going to be very useful depending on the different situation. We can grow like our Draven or whatever we need to with the Blade Keeper. We can give Overwhelm, which could be awesome with like Draven or... Uh, Jarvan or anything else. Kato, of course, is giving overwhelm as well. So let's let's uh, let's get to it. Let's kind of let's try it out. It's it's always good playing different cards and just kind of seeing what works, what doesn't, and um, everything like that. So this sh should be pretty exciting. So let's go play our five games. We're just playing them on over in normal, of course, like we always do here on our meme tier days. But here we go. Okay. Whoa, we're playing against Zoe Nautilus? That's awesome. That's the deck that we... That's probably from our video from yesterday. That's awesome. Zoe Nautilus. I <laughs> love it. Wow, that's really cool. That That is very rare for me to... I uh, get paired against one of my, one of like the weird decks that we make. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. That's really cool. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Uh, I don't think I necessarily trade right there. Scar in the hush. Okay, hey, maybe I should have traded. Ooh, that's new. Ooh, okay, yeah. Just forcing the trade. Not having the 2-3 kill. So we can give Draven double quick attack. That's like double attack, right? Double double quick attack. Alright, so we're just a Draven deck. Just Dravens and spells. Alright, so Naked Knight had a donation deck. Write that down here for a meme tier with Jarvan's Marauders. Okay. Their deck's looking really good. Battering Ram. Now we're cooking. Ooh, got some fighting, yeah. 
I basically use that Cataclysm to use mana. But honestly, you know, like, it'd be better for a turn like this, like, where I could, you know, double Spinning Axe to level up Draven, and then also Might, and then attack twice, like, with the Cataclysm, so we get the Might going on and everything. So I, I probably just shouldn't have. Maybe I should have. Yeah, I probably just should not have. Oh yeah, yeah, we've played Draven with Fury of the Fist for sure. Let's actually just get rid of the quick attack. Let's do that. Because I want to use the spinning axe to try to level up Draven, but I also don't want to get rid of the ability to um, go with the survival skills, but I also don't really want to use the survival skills just to start with. So that makes the most sense of just um, getting rid of that quick attack blade. to nine. Just gonna, just gonna get a card out of the hand. Put him down to six. That's a pretty cool playing against Zoe Nautilus. They could have found Equinox for the battering ram, which would be bad. They didn't seem to have a very good hand. They've done kind of nothing most of the time here. Maybe they have the other two Nautiluses in hand for champion spell. Nope, a star shaping in a Nautilus. So two Whirling Deaths takes down the Nautilus. The Draven, of course, has the Overwhelm. It's now a power. And there we go. That's our first win. Really on the back of Draven there. <laughs> Good job, Draven. Kind of feel like that's going to be our, our thing. We, we really want to find Draven. That's going to be our best card for sure. I do kind of feel bad, though, beating the person playing Zoe Nautilus, right? I feel bad. Yep, GG's. A 
Okay, LeBlanc Ash. Mulligan in the top end. There we go. Found a Draven. Perfect. This could be a tough Whirling Death matchup if they're going to have, like, Frostbite cards, like Brittle Steel, Flash Freeze, even something like Troll Chant. We got our best cards, though. Time for the main event. You have run. This would have been a perfect time if we would have had the um, survival skills in hand that I could block with Spinning Axe survival skills. And then still had Sharp Sight. <clears throat> okay, so if I block Sharp Sight, I guess it's probably... Good. Yeah, block sharp sight. Because they can troll chan and keep their thing alive, but they're not gonna they don't usually like play pump spells. They could kill my Draven. But that that also that gets rid of Brittle Steel as an option, and yeah, even Elixir of Iron's not an option anymore, so they have double Elixir of Iron. But alright. Guard of <coughs> two Elixir of Irons. They don't have a brittle steel or another elixir of iron. Okay, good. So now I can just use the Sharpened Resolve, but the Sharpened Resolve costs mana. I'd rather just use the two Spinning Axes that don't cost any mana and then play Kato. Blocking because they are the deck with all the different frostbite cards and, and combat spells and all that kind of stuff. And of course, that is just a really good champion. So I'll just I'll just trade. Um I'll handle this myself. To fight they want. That was not the block I expected. Could be a sign of brittle steel. Like they want to turn Darius into no. Like that that block doesn't make sense. That kill them. That puts them down to like two. You have to block the five four. Like, what are they doing? Unless they have frostbite for the five four. 
That's weird. So they must really want this Darius to be at 3 health. Yeah, if that was their plan on the block, they should have just froze the Kato. Probably, right? Just like old times. I got better looking. There we go. Good game. Alright, deck's working out. We, of course, we've had turn three Draven each game, which has been super, super important. Um, that's the goal. Let's let's keep drawing Draven. Let's get Draven. Yeah, there you go. Draven aggro, Jarvan mid range, and Darius the end game. Ooh, Nightfall. Nightfall's a good deck. Let's get that Draven. Okay, no Draven. We still have a 1-3. We'll keep the 1-3. And we have, this deck has lots and lots of combat spells. And so just, like, nothing wrong with that Sharpened Resolve, but just mulliganed it, because we'll just find other combat spells anyway. Don't need to keep them. You want to look for a champion like Draven. Hey, ZL Kingfisher. Hello, hello. We were peaceful once. Well, yeah, it's looked like a solid deck because we've had turn three Draven <laughs> each time, but um, there's a lot of meme tier type cards in the deck. It, we could have played it in ranked, but we're just playing it here. We save our spell mana. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Lunari, rise. Draven time. I have the best job. So we know this card over here is the Moon Weapon. We have a couple of Dust Petal Dusts. Only three other cards.
Okay. Still passing. Get a good open attack here. So this would definitely be a good spot to start using a spinning axe on Draven. Now we're cooking. So we could go Cataclysm again and you know get another you know the level up Draven with a Cataclysm. Or even a single combat. We still know that they have the moon weapon. That's this card right here. So if those two there are the same. One's ephemeral. That's the moon weapon. That should be the three one. The refill spell man is my guess. Oh no, it's the two three elusive. That was not my guess. Help them. Probably not. Hey, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the deck has the deck does have a lot of spells. Um, but it's good, like, if you can draw your Draven and then just have, like, a whole bunch of spells back up, like, that's that's a great plan. The problem's going to be is if we don't have a Draven or they kill it right away. That's where we're going to start seeing some issues. But for now, so far so good. Yeah, Diana's already leveled up. So eight mana, it's four. Yes. So right now Nocturne does not level up. But still may just single combat have my Trifarian kill the Nocturne right now. Could do that. See so I could I could do that. I could Death's Hand an onlooker, they challenge with the other onlooker I sharp sight. What are you waiting for? So then I'm attacking with Draven and Jarvan is nine, ten, eleven. Let's see, twelve no, because that's four. So uh sorry, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Uh, yeah, so we can kill them next turn. But all right. I'm actually here. I guess I'll let him attack.
there's definitely like the life gain cards in Targon and Shadow Isle, so it's not it's not a certainty that we're gonna have lethal because you know they can have like your unspeakable horrors. Uh, it's more you know like with the Nocturne being dead, that's gonna be less likely for an unspeakable horror, but unspe unspeakable horrors and star shapings and that kind of stuff. I don't know if they'd have like withering whale. Yeah, or even Hush. Cool, Death's Hand helps out. Time for the money makers. Words make a ruler, but actions make history. So they did have an unspeakable horror. Alright, so... Discard the Death's Hand, or I could wait till next turn and Death's Hand try to kill them. Because if I discard it, and then they have something, that could be bad. not the most likely they have something because if they had another unspeakable horror they would play them both right and just like kill one of these like they wouldn't like they would just kill they would just play both of them Prepare yourself. We move soon. Now and they did draw that horror off of the unto dusk we think if they'd had two horrors they would just play them both and kill a 4-2 right all right there we go sometimes you just got to go for it Three and O. Oh. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Draven, so good. I like this Draven Cataclysm. Draven ca Cataclysm is really helping us level up Draven and get millions of spinning axes. Uh oh. They're going big. Trundle, Trindamir, really in soul. This should definitely be a Targon's Peak deck. We should think. Looking for Draven. We have a pretty high curve, though, too. We A lot of our units are going to be pretty expensive. We have a lot of five, six cost units, so um, my own story. a card like Targon's Peak may not be that bad for us. Join the hunters, they say. Real battle. So my thinking here is like if they avalanche, yeah, they kill three things, but they also kill their O2s. So it'd be a two for three trade, so it's not like the worst. But we want to put a lot of pressure on them. And I guess I could sharp sight and save something if I really want to. Strength in place. Of course, they're going to be playing the Targon's Peak this turn. We don't want Targon's Peak to hit Might. <laughs> so let's use that there. Cool. Take zero mana, Jarvan. Grow. 
this. Give all allies challenger and scout. Wait, I can't even play that anyway. opponent didn't get to do full Targon Speak stuff. They even played turn four Targon Speak, but we just had a real aggressive hand and das game. Their peak hitting my Jarvan was very important. Oh yeah, ranked it is. Ranked it is. Good call, Kordak. Yeah, that's, that's a good point there, 2-2. Two, two. That's true. The new Yeah, so there's the new 1-mana 2-2 two, two in Demacia. That's just the, it's just Cythria plus upside. That's a good point. I guess that's true. I guess there's no real reason to use Cythria when there's Penitent Squire, which is the exact same thing. But then if we just, for some reason, behold an elite like Jarvan or King Jarvan. Or... Yeah, I guess if we just be holding elite, just basically one of those two cards. If we just hold one of those two cards, then you get a tattered banner. So yeah, there's there's just no there's no upside in playing Cythria. That's true. I guess yeah, hand space is technically an upside, but giving like Draven Challenger could be pretty cool. Okay, so we have gone 4 and 0 already here with the Draven Jarvan deck. Y'all know what that means with the meme tier decks. Whenever we go 4 and 0 in normal, for the fifth match, we take it on over to Masters Ranked. So we're going to take our deck over to Masters Ranked. Let's see how it does. Going to give it a lot harder test here. But that's what we always do with our 4 0 decks. Ooh, playing against Anivia. All right, so we know how this is going to be. They're going to be trying to kill all my stuff. I'm going to try to kill them before they kill all my stuff. Get rid of spells. Look for more units. And here we go. A card like Reckless Trifarian could be kind of nice with just the size because blocking doesn't matter. So I think they're going to have Averroes and Sentry because every time I play against the deck they have Averroes and Sentry. These old eyes still see and so I want to get the two damage in where they their Averroes and Sentry doesn't just die. And so they don't get to just draw a card right away. Like if I play the other thing to attack first and they would have an extra card to draw for Nothing making decisions. Man, very good opening hand for them though. The Sentry plus Tavern Keeper for defense. Good start for sure. So 
surprisingly, I know I mulliganed all spells, but, you know, as we've seen with all these other games, we still had plenty of spells, even though I've done that every game. Like, I haven't kept any spells in my hand. But surprisingly, surprisingly, this game we have, do not have any spells. So... I think I could go with a 7-6, but instead I'm going to go with multiple 4 health attackers. That is if I want to attack. I could, I guess I could just pass and only waste 2 mana. A lot of my stuff's going to die anyway, like these smaller things are going to die anyway to like sweepers and stuff. So yeah, I'm glad I'm glad we just attacked with them. Some people may like see the three three and not attack with these things, but they're they're gonna want to like avalanche and everything like that. They want to block the bigger things. Something ancient stirs. Um. Yeah, this is tough of let them attack. If they attack, I block with the 4-2, and then these one health things also die, and then I play Radiant Guardian, but we have three things die, or simply single combat. Well, single combat with the one health thing that's going to die. But then, of course, I don't get to put another thing into play, but I still actually have more power in play for an open attack to begin with. Um... Because the the problem, of course, is Rekindler. Which they have that. Good hand. Turn 5 Anivia, turn 6 Rekindler, turn 7 Rekindler plus Catalyst. That's going to bring back this other Anivia. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I'm jealous. <laughs> Never got anything like this whenever I played Anivia Control a few weeks ago.
definitely worried about that. Good hand opponent. Is our time. They continually had the worst case scenarios for me. Good hand. I bring the storm. No, there's no this this game's over. Cause they also of course have plenty of frostbite cards. Good game. The great Anivia hand right there. Yeah, it's turn two century, turn three. Um, uh, Tavern Keeper, turn four ramp for turn five Anivia, turn six rekindler, turn seven get another uh, rekindler, turn eight ruination, turn nine ruination. <laughs> That's, yeah, good hand. That's how you draw it up. Uh, playing playing real big expensive things, not great against Ruination, of course. And that's what that's our opponents had those a couple of times. Um, but alright, that's still very impressive showing here for our Draven Jarvan deck. And, and I kind of agree. The person that donated said it, it looks weird and, and everything, but it just kind of does pretty well. And, you know, we saw that. You know, it's not... It's not going to be like a top tier deck or anything like that, but we saw that over in normal of, um, you know, it doing pretty well. I think that I would, um, I think that I would really want like another, like something else that probably costs like two mana, like another cheaper unit that costs two or three mana, I think in here um, over the the long term. I'm not sure about like a card like Battering Ram because uh, it's just kind of too many sixes, I think. Um, having Battering Ram and Darius and Jarvan, it's it's a lot. And then King Jarvan also, it's a whole lot at the top end. Um, we we did a great job of finding Blade Squire, Sithria, and Draven, which which was all, which was like a big reason why we were winning all those games. Like right, like all those games we had those those three cards quite a bit. But like if you don't have Draven or Sithria, um, you know there's nothing on two. There's only Trifarian that can't block on three. Only two Blade Keepers on four. You know like you. You could definitely play this deck and have nothing but spells and um, these big expensive cards. Like that, that is um, that's certainly a worry with the deck. Um, we drew quite well, um, but I would probably want to have a little bit more consistency. Something at two, you know, like a Legion Grenadier, or you know, like there's these two regions. Like all these two drops are great. You know, if you want like House Spider, Egghead Researcher, or Bright Seal Protector, or you know, like they're they're all great. Um, glory seeker uh but you know maybe like a grenadier or something like that over like a battering ram just to have a little bit more early stuff but um you know something like that get you a little bit more in there uh but yeah i think it worked out it worked out pretty well um so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of this Draven Jarvan list um, or anything else you want to see on stream. Always love to hear those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Draven Jarvan, and I'll see you for the next video.